We are told the depth of water, d meters, in a harbor on a particular day is modeled by the formula d equals 5 plus 2 sine, uh, and then brackets 30 times t in degrees, where t is between 0 and 24, where t is the number of hours after midnight. A boat enters the harbor at 6.30 a.m. and it takes two hours to load its cargo. The boat requires the depth of water to be at least 3.8 meters before it can leave the harbor. Part A is asking us to find the depth of the water in the harbor when the boat enters the harbor. Okay, for one mark. So this question actually is pretty straightforward. The first thing we're going to have to do first though is convert 6.30 a.m into a duration after uh, midnight. So because remember t is the number of hours after midnight and it enters at 6.30 a.m. So this would be 6 hours and 30 minutes or because remember t is in hours 6.5 hours. Okay. Then from here it's a pretty straightforward. All we need to do is we need to say that uh, d equals 5 plus 2 sine and then in brackets 30 times 6.5 okay which equals 4.48 meters okay you need to remember your unit you got one mark for this question and that one mark comes from explicitly getting the final answer now you need to have your units okay you can't get your final mark without having any units Part B is saying find to the nearest minute the earliest time the boat can leave the harbour. And bear in mind it says solutions based entirely on graphical or numerical methods are not acceptable. So we need to use an algebraic method to solve this question. So, effectively what the question is saying is, it's saying the boat requires the depth of the water to be at least 3.8 metres. So I'm just going to pick that out in bold, okay, before it can leave. So, what we need to do is we need to find at what t is d equal to 3.8 meters, okay? So, what we need to do is we need to plug in our value of 3.8 into our expression for d and use that to solve for t, okay? So, we've got our equation here and I'm just going to do exactly that. We're going to say 3.8 equals 5 plus to sine 30 t like that okay i'm going to bring the two sine uh, the uh, sorry the 5 to the other side so we're going to have 3.8 minus 5 is minus 1.2 equals 2 sine 30 t i'm going to divide both sides by 2 so you have minus 0 0.6 equals sine 30 t like that I'm going to flip these around so we have the sine 30t on the uh, left hand side, sine 30t equals minus 0 0.6 and I'm going to uh, take the inverse sign. so 30t is going to be the inverse sign of minus 0 0.6 and this equals, so if I check on my calculator, 36 minus 36 0.869 etc. Now the problem here is we have an expression for 30t okay and that means 30 times our period of time. Now we can't have a negative period of time uh, which is what minus 36.869 here implies. So what we need to do is set uh, just a, a little comment here t has to be greater than zero, whoops, zero, therefore 30t also has to be greater than zero, okay? And we know that the period of a sine wave, so if I draw a little sine wave for you here, okay, when you do this, all right, the, this, the uh, number of degrees between this point and this point is 360 degrees. So what we need to do is we need to use this information, okay, to add 360 degrees to our time for 30t. Right, so what we're going to say is 30t equals minus 36.86, etc. plus 360, 
okay, which equals, if I put it into my calculator, 323.13, etc. Right? If we solve for t, this means we can say uh, t equals 323.13, etc. over 30, which equals, let me just fix that uh, zero to make it clearer. So we do this divided by 30, and you would get 10.77 hours. Okay? 10.77 hours. Now we're looking for a time, which means we need a uh, minute with our answer. Okay? So, uh, what we do is we take away 10 hours from our time. So we have 10 hours and 0 0.77 times 60 minutes, which is the same as 10 hours. And if I do 0 0.77 times 60, we have 46.2 minutes or 10 hours and 46 minutes because we round it to the nearest minute as we have in our question. Okay. So... 10 hours 46 minutes after midnight is the same as 10:46 uh, a.m. So we say uh, the boat can leave at 10:46 a.m. Now, an important point to note here is technically at 10:46 um, the D uh, the depth isn't exactly 3.8, it's still not there yet, but the question asked us to round it to the nearest minute, okay? So, as long as you're between 10.46 and 10.47, if you wrote either one of those answers, uh, that's correct, okay? Because technically 10.47 is the first minute at which the boat, uh, the depth is above 3.8, but... 10 the with the numbers we've been given it rounds to 10 46 a.m. so the mark scheme allows both as for the marks for this question you get your first mark for getting that uh, 3.8 plus 5 plus sine 2 th equals 5 plus sine 2 theta so this line and then getting all the way down to this line over here Okay, so this entire section will get you your first uh, mark, uh, like that, oops, sorry, put a tick, like that, okay? Your second mark comes from knowing you need to add 360 to your uh, value for 30t, so that you get a, um, a valid answer for t, so not negative. Your third mark from get, comes from getting that t is 10.77 hours, and your fourth mark comes from getting a time of either 10.46 a.m. or 10.47 a.m.